until eighth grade, um, Miss Fleming here again for some more math videos. So without further ado, let's get it started. For today's assignment, you are finding all of the missing angles. Now you might look at this and be like, how am I supposed to find all these angles? They only give me one. Well, with all that you've learned this week, I promise you, it's actually not that hard. So let's get started. I am going to use purple. So let's look at number one. It is telling us that the measure of angle seven is 133. So I'm just going to write that in there. Well, we know that on this whole line right here, and if we look at angle 7 and angle 8, we know that those two added together have to be 180 because it's a, a straight line. So if we do 180 minus 133, we have to borrow. 10 minus 3 is 7, 7 minus 3 is 4, 0. So we, are, we know that the measure of angle 8 is 47. Now we can take some properties that we've learned throughout the week. So let's look at this diagonal line. This will be our transversal. We know that this is an exterior angle. So if we look at the measure, or if we look at the alternate um, exterior angle, that's going to be measure or angle two. So angle two and angle eight are the same. They're alternate exterior angles. So I don't know what happened to number two. Ooh, didn't want to do that. Don't want to do that either. Um, we're just going to click drop and hope the best happens. We know that angle two needs to be 47 as well. So hopefully all is well there. I don't I don't know what I did. Okay, I made it better. Didn't you guys miss my text noise? All right, so we have I'm gonna fix angle eight because I don't know what happened, but it's all yucky. So two is 47, eight is 47. I'm gonna write them on here as well. Well that being said, let's think of that um alternate exterior angle thing again. If this angle seven is 137, it's alternate exterior is angle one. So we know angle one is also 137. All right, we're halfway there. So now we just need to look at a few more things. So now let's look at this angle. We know this one right here is 130, oh no, I wrote 137, it's supposed to be 133. That's okay, that's just me and my poor penmanship struggling on writing on a computer. It is, 133, 133, all right, it's like nothing ever happened. All right, so now if we want to find the measure of, let's say this angle, Again, we know this is a straight line. It's going to have to equal 180 degrees. So let's do 133 minus, uh, or 180 minus 133. So that again is gonna give us 47. So the measure of angle 4 is 47. An alternate interior, or not, yeah, alternate interior, that would mean angle 6 is also 47. So we have a 47 there. And then we just have to find angles 3 and 5, which again, if you do 180 minus 47, Gotta borrow. 10 minus 7 is 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. 1 minus, sorry, 1 minus nothing is 1. So these should be 133. 
And that's that. You just have to find your missing angles. Shall we do one more? All right, let's do one more. Let's look at number six. So it says the measure of angle three is 85. We know that alternate interior angles would make the measure of angle uh, five also 85. And let's figure out angle two. We know we need to do 180 minus 85. Oop, why don't I do that? I'm going to borrow here. 10 minus 5 is 5. That's why I did that. 11 minus 8 is 3. And then how do we check that? What am I doing? 180 minus 85. I'm going to redo that because I think my bad writing messed me up. This is the last videos of the day. I'm, I'm losing it again. It's life, you know. 180 minus 85. Can't do 0 minus 5, so that becomes 7. 10 minus 5 is 5. You cannot do 7 minus 8. 17 minus 8, which is 9. So that should be 95 because 95 plus 80. Oopsies. 95 plus 85. 5 plus 5 is 10. 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 1 is 18. There. So the measure of angle 2 is 95. We know alternate exterior angles would be number or measure of angle 8. So 8 is also 95. Now we just need to find out a few more things. So we know the measure of angle 1 needs to add with the measure of angle 2 to be 180. So that would also make the measure of angle 1 85. And the alternate exterior, that would be angle 7. So angle 7 is also 85. And then we just have to fill in 4 and 6. Again, we know that that has to add up to 180. So 4 would be 95. Alternate interior angle would be 6. So that also has to be 95. All right. I hope this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll see you later.